The purpose of this video is to demonstrate proper use of the radiometer Safe Pico self fill arterial syringe. By observing its use in the clinical setting, you will have a better understanding of the proper use of Safe Pico self fill syringe and the benefits of the syringe when used as radiometer intended. Be sure to use universal precautions, as designated by your hospital, as each hospital has their own specific procedures and guidelines. Identify your patient. Prepare your patient according to your hospital's protocol, including an Allen's test. Prepare your supplies. Remove your supplies from their packaging or from the kit. Set the safe tip cap to the side, but within easy reach. Prepare your patient's draw site according to your hospital's protocol. Twist the syringe wings 90 degrees to confirm a tight fit between the syringe and the safety device. Test to make sure the safety device moves easily. Preset the cell fill syringe to the desired fill level by drawing the plunger back to the desired mark on the syringe. Expose the needle shaft by holding the barrel with one hand and pulling the needle sheath straight off without twisting with your other hand. The needle has a surgically sharp short bevel to minimize the potential for opposite arterial wall puncture and offers a faster fill time. This makes the arterial draw as comfortable as possible for the patient. Begin your arterial sample draw. Adjust your line of sight to look over the needle hub for a better view of the blood flash if needed. Once the sampler is full, remove the needle and apply constant pressure to your patient's arterial puncture site. Holding the sampler in one hand, place your thumb toward the back of the safety device thumb plate and without pressing down on the plate, gently slide the protective shield over the exposed needle until a click is heard. The click signifies that the protective shield is locked in place and the needle is no longer exposed. Remove the needle and needle safety shield device by holding onto the syringe barrel wings while twisting the needle shield device. Discard in a sharps container. Firmly place and twist the safe tip cap one quarter turn onto the syringe. Hold the syringe vertically so the safe tip cap is at the top. Gently flick the syringe barrel so that any air bubbles will rise to the top. Press the plunger slowly to expel the air through the vented safe tip cap. You will see a red band form in the tip cap and feel resistance in the plunger, indicating the air has been removed and you now have a sealed anaerobic sample. The sample is now ready to be mixed. The integrated mixing ball in the aspirator helps accelerate mixing with the electrolyte balanced heparin and minimizes pre-analytical errors due to an incompletely mixed sample. An incompletely mixed sample can affect test results and patient treatment. Check the arterial draw site and apply a pressure bandage to the puncture site according to your hospital's protocol. Label and transport the arterial sample, according to your hospital's protocol, to the blood gas analyzer for analysis. The pre-barcoded syringe offers a unique identifier that can be used at the bedside to link the patient and the syringe using radiometers, radiance, and FlexLink software.